Thank you for tuning into our webinar to learn how Better Workflow begins with these brand new Evo features. This is Melanie Ciotti, Marketing Manager at SNS. We're excited to show you what's new this year, starting with the all new Evo version 7. We announced this major update at NAB 2022, but even if you saw it back then, there's more to it now. We'll then walk you through new updates to the award-winning Evo suite, which includes new releases of Share Browser Media Asset Manager, Slingshot Transcoding and Automations, and Nomad for remote editing. After the Evo suite won two awards at NAB, we went ahead and made it even better with new features and enhanced functionality for your creative workflow. And it's still included for unlimited users with every Evo solution. Then finally, we'll announce the path for upgrading an existing Evo system to the new Evo version 7 and the latest releases of the Evo suite. It's my pleasure to introduce my expert colleague, Steve Hignan, to fill you in on all of these new workflow tools coming your way. Steve is a workflow engineering specialist here at SNS and my go-to for all workflow-related questions. He's been with SNS for many years and has a creative background in pro audio engineering. Here is SNS Senior Systems Engineer and Product Specialist Steve Higdon to tell you all about these new Evo features and how to get them. Thanks, Melanie, and thanks to everyone for tuning in to hear about Evo version 7, the Evo Suite, and more. Melanie mentioned that we launched Evo version 7 at NAB 2022. Since then, the feedback we've been getting on the new look and feel has been really, really positive. It's important to mention though, that this is more than a cosmetic update. The entire Evo system has been redesigned from the ground up. Sure, it's more intuitive and easier on the eyes, but there's really a ton of new functionality built in, which has allowed us to develop additional features, which we'll talk about later on, and continue to innovate better workflow solutions. Now, in addition to that backend development, we've also made it look pretty chic on the front end as well. Since NAB, we've heard over and over again that the new collapsible header in Evo version 7 is a big favorite. This header provides access to the most commonly used status information, including graphs showing data throughput, CPU load, and available capacity. All of these key metrics are readily available in the collapsible header at the top of every page in the new Evo interface. Simply open it to see the overview or hide it away with a single click. The previous Evo GUI was primarily organized around the setup process with some added modules like Slingshot and Pair Browser Controls. Now, with version seven, the interface is designed more intuitively for not only setup, but also the administration and ongoing management of the Evo system and the entire workflow. Begin on Evo's Quick Start page with easy access to support, helpful tips, and setup information. Then use the icons in the left side pane to navigate Slingshot, Share Browser Settings, User Management, Recycle Bin, and so on. Every part of the Evo GUI is easy to find with this new infrastructure. And we've built in shortcuts too. So while we've positioned the most common post-deployment functions front and center, some users may wish to customize their experience. Now there's a way to create shortcuts to just about any page in the GUI. And if your navigation pane becomes too cluttered, simply click and drag any icon to remove it. What we have seen is that customers tend to grow with Evo. As their production needs increase, they find that the Evo is right there, helping them grow whether that's by way of expansion to their original system, connecting a second Evo or nearline, or by adding another Evo in a different location. The fact is, we now have a big percentage of customers who have more than one Evo. Evo version seven lets the administrator perform the most commonly needed management functions across multiple Evos, all within one interface. For example, monitoring system status for several units, or managing users across multiple systems all from one spot. We call this feature federated management. At its core, it's a way for you to see and manage all of your Evo version 7 servers from a unified interface. And dark mode is here. The Evo version 7 interface can be switched to dark mode. So now your team can enjoy a pleasing aesthetic across all of our Evo tools, from the operating system shown here 
to the entire Evo suite. And of course, if you prefer light mode, you can toggle back at any time. This new GUI can be customized to help you work the way you want to work. I mentioned that the upgrades to Evo version 7 are more than cosmetic. And here's a great example of the work we've done under the hood to make Evo even better for creative production teams. Every new release of the Evo operating system brings forward system security and hardening. With version 7, we've introduced HTTPS support for the Evo GUI and Share Browser, granular auditing and logging per user, new folder level permissions, and various other enhancements to help ensure your projects and media remain secure. We've also updated some hardware specs to continue offering the absolute best performance, capacity, and connectivity options. Evo is available with either spinning disk or solid state drives, as well as hybrid configurations if you want to load it half and half. We've also qualified new expanded drive sizes for certain Evo models. So our 8 base systems now go up to 336 terabytes fully expanded, and our flagship 16 base servers can hit over a petabyte fully expanded. And you can get an expanded Evo nearline system up to 1.4 petabytes. And now you can also get up to 100 gigabit Ethernet connectivity. New Evo systems can be configured with multiple 10, 25, 50, and 100 gig Ethernet ports. For anyone who is new to Evo, all of our systems, hardware and software, are purpose-built for media production workflows, ready for your next 4K, 8K, 16K, and beyond projects. Evo version 7 is now shipping on some new systems, and in a moment, we'll talk about the upgrade process for Evos already in the field. But I'd like to show you some of the new changes to the Evo suite. All the components in the Evo suite are tightly interconnected. The basis for these new features has been unlocked with developments in Evo version 7. That's why version 7 is such a major update. It's paving the way for future development not just with the Evo operating system, but in the Evo suite as well. The Evo suite is included with every Evo shared storage solution. It includes Share Browser, the powerful and easy to use asset management system, Slingshot Transcoder and Automations Engine, and of course, Nomad for remote editing. Collectively, the Evo suite of workflow tools was named Cloud Computing and Storage Product of the Year as well as Remote Production, Product of the Year at NAB 2022. But we didn't stop there. A few months after receiving these awards, we launched updates to the entire Evo suite, including major updates to Slingshot, a completely new Nomad remote editing experience, and new features in Share Browser. Here's what's new with the multi-award winning Evo suite. We have big news for Slingshot, but first, what is it? Slingshot is the automations engine and API included with Evo. You can back up, sync, replicate, index, transcode, and copy files automatically on a recurring schedule or whenever you want. Slingshot's integration with cloud storage services is very popular, so you can back up to Dropbox, Amazon S3, Microsoft Azure, Wasabi, Backblaze, etc. You can run these automations nightly, on the weekend, or any other time. Check out some of our user stories, and you'll hear customers say things like, it's the easiest S3 backup I've ever done. The latest updates to Slingshot focus mostly on the transcoding function, which is one of the most popular automations with our users in the field. Transcoding is important for previewing media and share browser. Slingshot works in the background, to create preview proxies so you can efficiently audition your media and share browser. And Slingshot also features Apple certified ProRes transcoding, giving you more options for edit ready proxies, which can be used for offline and remote editing projects. In addition to Apple certified ProRes transcoding, we've also qualified new codecs for the automated transcoding jobs in Slingshot, including Blackmagic RAW or BRAW. Red raw and re raw files. That means no more generic file type icons for your camera originals. 
when you're browsing and searching for media in Share Browser, you can now preview your BRAW, RedRAW, and RERAW files in the MAM. And of course, these files can also be transcoded into Edit Ready ProRes proxies for your remote editing projects or into H.264 or any of the other robust transcoding options offered in Slingshot. You can transcode more file types with a new Slingshot, and it's faster too. Transcoding has been sped up by up to 30% in some cases. If you're currently using Slingshot transcoding, you'll see significant speed increases when you upgrade to the newest version. Transcoded proxies can now be customized to feature burnt-in timecode, as well as a custom watermark, giving your team more control over offline copies of your media. You can customize the location of the window burn and the watermark, and even scale the size of the watermark. And you don't have to transcode all of your media all at once. You can exclude certain folders from your indexer and be more selective about your proxy generation settings in Slingshot. There's also the new capability to generate proxies on demand. You can manually select individual files in Share Browser to initiate the Slingshot transcoding process, generating proxies for specific files when you need them. And as a sidebar here, but worth mentioning as a part of this update, if your workflow includes a TriCaster with an Evo or NRS, you can use a Slingshot alias to send video clips to a TriCaster DDR playlist. If you're interested in the better, faster transcoding capabilities of Slingshot, chances are that you're already familiar with the benefits of proxy editing. Nomad is our remote editing utility that uses proxy files that Slingshot automatically creates and it delivers them to you in a way that facilitates remote workflow. This is where those edit-ready ProRes proxies can make a big difference. Nomad collects and organizes your media proxies and helps you get started with a familiar offline editorial workflow. It also maintains your folder structure, making it easy to relink to your source media. Of course, it's Mac and Windows compatible, which is true of all of our production tools. We first built Nomad back in 2020 at the very start of the pandemic, and we've heard the refrain for the past two and a half years. Nomad is a lifesaver. From television producers to networks and post houses to recording studios, we've heard that line time and time again. What nobody ever said, though, is that Nomad is pretty, and we get it. Life jackets aren't meant to be stylish, but they get the job done when the water gets rough. But we do want our users to have the best possible experience. So we've completely redesigned the Nomad user interface and added new features to make workflow even easier. The all new Nomad features a sleek and intuitive interface that's now easier to use. You can select a folder, an Adobe Premiere project file, or a share browser bin as the input, and then Select your destination, such as a folder on your desktop or an external hard drive. We've also added a job progress tracker to keep track of all your Nomad jobs. You can archive them to keep the pane clean or retain them as a running tally of your Nomad usage. And while Nomad works with any NLE, Final Cut, Resolve, etc., Nomad has a few special powers specific to Adobe Premiere Pro. One, as you can see here, is to select a Premiere project file as your Nomad input. Nomad will then find the proxies associated with the source media that's linked in that project. Another special power is Nomad Delta, a brand new feature for Premiere users, and it's only available in the new Nomad. Nomad Delta helps ensure that new media from remote users ends up back on your Evo. And here's how it works. First, the editor selects a Premiere project file. Nomad retrieves the project file as well as any proxies associated with that project. You can then make your edits, working from home over the weekend or on the road, traveling to your next location shoot with or without internet connection. And once you've finished editing, just submit your revised project file. Nomad Delta will compare it to the original version identifying any new media that has been added to the project. 
Nomad Delta automatically copies that new material to the location of your choice, such as the main project folder on the Evo. Existing media is already on the Evo and is all in the same folder structure as the proxies, making it easy to relink in Premiere when the time comes. The new Nomad comes with another feature specific for SNS Cloud VPN users. But let's finish up the Evo suite first, including the updates to Share Browser, and then I'll get to the new VPN accelerator. Share Browser is the window through which most of your production team will experience this workflow. Editors and creative talent use Share Browser to interact with their files, searching, browsing, tagging, commenting, viewing, and managing the media and project files. Keep in mind, Share Browser can index all of your network storage, not just the files on your Evo. Even the contents of an external hard drive that's been indexed and then unplugged and put back on the shelf can be previewed, tagged, and searched in Share Browser. It's a powerful and easy to use MAM that unlocks extra value across your entire media storage infrastructure. Now, we still have the AI capabilities, which can automatically tag archival data in large projects and share browser bins, which are a fantastic way to organize and share media without duplicating files and taking up extra space on the server. Many of these updates are the result of feedback we've received directly from users. New features in Share Browser include support for HTTPS and a more secure experience using Share Browser web app. Also, Share Browser can automatically unmount volumes when you log out, just like it can auto mount your favorite volumes when you log in. And that's a great option for educational institutions or anytime users log in on shared workstations. Remember, I mentioned on-demand proxy generation in Slingshot. You can trigger that transcode directly from Share Browser. Just right-click on the file, folder, or selection and choose Create Edit Ready Proxy from the drop-down menu to initiate selective transcode operations. There are several search and navigation updates in the new Share Browser. First, the new Favorites tab lets you bookmark any location you want. Whether that's quick access to a current project, a shared Google Drive folder, your local downloads folder, an Amazon S3 bucket, or a frequently used media library nested several folders deep on an Evo share. Any folder location you have access to can be added to your own share browser favorites. We've also added new sorting options and a back button to improve navigation as you're browsing and searching your media. And of course, you get the matching forward button as well. As you're searching for the perfect clip for your project, Share Browser now enables multi-criteria searches within your custom metadata. And if you've hidden any of your volumes, the media in those hidden volumes won't show up to confuse your search results. The new Share button makes it easy to create a link to your current browse location in the file system. Whether that's a detailed multi-criteria search, a folder nested six layers deep, or some other important location, you can easily generate a link and share it with a colleague. That colleague can log into Share Browser web app and follow the link to quickly locate that same set of files or directory location. So if your teammate says, I can't find that project, you can just share a link to take them precisely where they need to be. Other updates to Share Browser search results include a date modified field and improved folder navigation. And you can specify a drive letter when mounting shares in Windows operating system. You'll also find updates to Share Browser's API. Slingshot isn't the only part of the Evo suite with an API. Now, third party apps can query Share Browser tags and comments via API calls and use the contents of those fields in other operations. And we've added the ability to import and export Share Browser user metadata, increasing compatibility and functionality with other systems, scripts, and applications. Evo and the Evo Suite work with all creative tools in your workflow. For Adobe Shops, you can use the Share Browser panel extension for Premiere Pro and After Effects to search, preview, tag, comment, and import media directly into your video editing software without opening a separate Share Browser application. 
And remember, Nomad has those bonus features that are specific to Premiere Pro users. We also have a share browser integration for Final Cut Pro. While our Edit Ready ProRes proxies work great across all NLEs, Final Cut has some extra elegant features with those ProRes proxies. For DaVinci, Evo can host the Resolve database for a more seamless collaboration. And we have one of the first and only workflow integration plugins for Resolve users. The newest release of Resolve features some incredible new tools for collaborative remote editing in real time around the world. And you can use all of these tools with Evo if your workflow is set up correctly. We just published a YouTube video about this, and I highly recommend you check it out. And if you're a Resolve user involved in remote collaboration, give us a call and we'll help you set up the best workflow for your team. And of course, Evo works great with Avid Media Composer including the native project and bin locking features, and with other editing platforms like Pro Tools, Nuke, Blender, Edius, Illustrator, Photoshop, and so on. Plus the cloud platforms we spoke about earlier, as well as the other broadcast and production tech in your facility. Evo and the Evo Suite comprise a complete workflow solution for your creative team. There are no license fees for Share Browser no limits to the number of slingshot automations or API calls, and no better solution than Nomad for remote editing. All fully optimized for creative workflows in broadcast, VFX, post-production, and pro audio. But what if you want to access Evo and the power of the Evo suite from home? Well, SNS has a custom VPN solution built exclusively for Evo that does just that. SNS Cloud VPN was launched a couple of years ago to give remote Evo users access to their shared storage server and the entire Evo suite of software tools that helps them get work done faster from anywhere. It's super easy to set up, typically taking under an hour on a remote install with myself or one of my colleagues, and you have full control to manage your VPN users, monitor connection status, and administer remote access to your Evo. Most importantly, SNS Cloud VPN is secure. It provides a secure tunnel from your remote users right to your Evo server from anywhere in the world. And only your Evo and the remote users are connected to SNS Cloud VPN without exposing the rest of your office network. If you've tried to set up a traditional VPN before, you know it can be a big hassle to set all the permissions, install and configure the hardware, manage the firewall rules, and so on. SNS Cloud VPN bypasses the burden of traditional VPNs and gives remote users a secure, convenient, and controlled connection to exactly what they need. No more and no less. And now SNS Cloud VPN is getting faster. We've just launched VPN Accelerator exclusively for SNS Cloud VPN users. We currently have this accelerator deployed for pilot customers around the world and they're seeing speeds typically twice as fast, and in some cases, even faster. One test customer saw speeds five times faster on a cross-country data transfer. But I'd like to note here that VPN Accelerator speeds up the entire remote workflow when connected through SNS Cloud VPN, not just the file transfers. Remotely browsing and previewing media in Share Browser will be faster. Running Nomad to gather proxies for offline editing will be faster. And yes, moving and copying files will be faster. Everything you do over your secure remote connection to Evo will be faster with the VPN accelerator. That sums up our updates to Evo and the Evo suite and our all new VPN accelerator feature exclusively for SNS cloud VPN users. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can I get all of these new features? Well, if you're in the market for a new shared storage system, Evo OS version 7 is shipping on new orders. If you're looking to upgrade an existing Evo system to version 7 and the new Evo suite releases, let's talk about that. I'm very pleased to announce that we're officially launching our phased rollout for current Evo users to upgrade their existing version 615 systems to version 7 starting this January. Upgrades will be rolling out in phases. The first step in the upgrade process is to locate your Evo serial number, as we'll need that to determine your system's eligibility and where it falls in the phased rollout. Then go to our knowledge base and click on the article titled 
can my Evo be upgraded to Evo OS version 7? Follow the instructions in that article and we'll notify you of the next steps in the process. I think we're going to have a lot of interest in these upgrades given the excitement around version 7 and the new Evo Suite features. So go to the knowledge base to submit your upgrade request as soon as you can. And now it's my pleasure to reintroduce Melanie Ciotti, our marketing manager. Thank you, Steve. I agree. You know, we anticipate and we've already seen a lot of interest in upgrading existing Evo version 615 systems to Evo version 7. And there's a lot to be excited about, like dark mode in version 7, like you showed, a Slingshot's new transcoding features for B-RAW, RED, and RE-RAW files, Share Browser favorites, the VPN accelerator, the new Nomad experience. There's something for everyone in this new release. For more information, give us a call anytime or schedule your personalized system demo at snsevo.com.